Well, how do there, chums? You can see behind me that I'm back inside of No Man's Sky, and in today's episode, I need to get to the bottom of these trade surges and how we go about utilising them inside of game. And uh, I've done a poll, and it seems to be that I might have mistakenly done it around the wrong way. Anyway, I'll jump into game and show you what I mean. Chicka pow pow, chicka boom boom, and we're into game, people inside of the viewerverse. So. Right then, um, it says there, purge sequence. I wanted to do the Atlas path, not freaking... No, okay, fair enough. Anyway, let's fly out, because that's not what we're here to digress. We'd get all to doing missions at some other time. Right now, though, peeps, we want to be doing something completely different, which is trying to understand these trade surges. So, if I go on over to here, hit this up, and hit on up my economy scanner, here we go. I'm going to search for a trade surge. Chapow! Okay, sell prices spiked in nearby systems. Locate mercantile economy. Purchase in demand goods. Select any system in the galaxy map and use Y to view the economy data. Market search will end in about three hours. So, I thought that the actual system that it points us out to was where to buy stuff from because it, it just so happened to be a mercantile system last time. I mean, there you go, look at that. So that's a booming system, but that's advanced materials. So now I need to find a mercantile system. So if I go to economy like that, hopefully I might be able to find a mercantile system amongst these. So that one says high tech Corvax again. And where's the, that's um, high tech again. We've got power generation there. We've got advanced materials there. Okay. Um, I'm looking for a mercantile system, which I think has like a little stopwatch. There we go. There's a mercantile system. So if I jump there and buy my stuff and then jump to the system where it's got the boom. I did it the wrong way around last time, people. OK, well, we've arrived at inside of a mercantile system. Ooh, what the fudge? That's ominous music. Anyway, ignore the ominous music. Hold on, we've got a message coming in from Polo. Hello there, Polo. Well, I got your message. Did you? Good. It's been a lot to take in. A simulation. Everything is not real. It it feels like it doesn't matter. I suppose. Not if we're going to die anyway. Because I've been thinking about that. If the problem of this universe are due to the Atlas crying for help, then it's been crying for a long time. Those 16 minutes, I bet we have years before we die. Go on. All right. Ask why they're not upset. I think he just made that freaking obvious, but i oh, sod it. Why should I be? We have to all die sometime. And that time will be more interesting than this. We'll die like no one's ever died before. That's a good way of looking at it. Oh, look at this nebula. Oh, my God. That looks freaking amazing. I've been thinking a lot about it. How couldn't we meet? Even though we seem to be standing in the same place. I think it's some sort of layered realities, my friend. Who knows? I don't think we're really in the same location at all. I think those portals, they don't transport us. They transform us. They cut through dimensions. That's what I think, anyway. That's exactly what I think, yeah, yeah. That's the only way to explain it. I agree. And if the walls between worlds are really falling, maybe we'd be able to have a drink together before the Acopolis, after all. That's a good way of looking at it. Hope so, Apollo. I don't know how you drink, though. I don't see any sort of orifice there. Sweet. Anyway, I say goodbye, telling Apollo that I'm, I'm journeying to the centre. They tell me that they erased me there. Nice one. We speak of memories we've had and shared, though we didn't know each other for very long, though we did not meet. They say they're proud to have worked with me. Brilliant. Well, take care. Goodbye, Apollo. I guess. Right, well, let's go into this freaking space station. That looks awesome, doesn't it? it? Really does. Anyway, we're flying in. We're still getting these data injections as if it thinks that I want to do the purge. I clearly said I wanted to travel towards the centre of the space, you know, and do the Atlas path, but I digress. Anyhow, let's jump on out of the ship, people. So, last time I thought that I had to go and buy stuff from the system that it had actually pinpointed, but no, you've got to buy it from here. 
And hopefully we had a clock, well, any mercantile system. So I need to hit up a few mercantile systems within this next two and a half hours or whatever time I've got allotted and buy as much stuff as I possibly can. So I'm already getting some sort of probability here anyway, because I'm getting minus 15% on here. Yeah, we'll buy the whole lot of that, mate. We'll have all of that as well, yeah. And all of that. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, balls. Okay. Well, let's just get that down to what I can afford. Okay, we're in affordability. Out of affordability. I have no money left. I have spent all my units, pretty much, people, on this stuff. Let's go and see if we can clock up a profit. Because it does calculate your profit here. Look, there you go. Sweet. While in space, access the galactic map and follow the mission path. Okay, we're going to go there then. I did it round the wrong way before. I went there at the first point. I thought, you know, I'll buy it from that system, sell it to others. Didn't work out well for me, people. Let's go sell all this junk I just purchased, Decated. And we can just follow the mission path now. Straight over to that mission, that place over there. This is the, where we can now sell. So let's go do that then. Zoom! And we're off. I'll see you in the other station. And here we are! We have arrived! I guess. I keep saying it that way because of... Starfield. Yeah, you're adoring fan. That's how he says when you arrive on a new planet. We have arrived! Anyway, let's uh, fly on into here. Do I miss Starfield? No. Not overly. Not really. I'm even contemplating at this point, people. Maybe even selling the old Xbox and getting myself maybe the Oculus 3. But I figured I might as well keep hold of the Xbox until I've built my PC. And once I've built my PC, then I can buy the Oculus free. Then at least I can bring some VR titles maybe to my channel through streaming through my new wondrous PC after it's built. So it's another avenue. And just keep the PlayStation 5 and PC and pretty much go that way. Because although I like the Xbox quite a lot, I mean, it's got Power World on it. Let's face it, that's pretty darn fun, isn't it? But that's all I've got on there, really. Okay, right, let's hit this up then. And let's start selling things. Chicka boom! And we can sell all of this. But look, I'm not getting. Oh no, that's uh, just Look, I'm getting quite a lot of profit there. Heck yes, sell all of that. Sell that. Sell anything with green on it, basically. And we'll see how much profit we get. Okay, uh, that's it. That's what we've made so far. Let's have a look what we've made. We've made. We made a fair bit so far, people. This, this isn't too bad. Right, we better go to another mercantile system then. Go and buy a load of other stuff and then jump back over here. Heck yes. I wonder what that purge stuff is all about in the um, frickin's... I don't know what's going on there. I keep, I keep getting data injections. Not that I've asked for them. Okay, let's go to another mercantile system. Meow. Right, let's have a look. See, so we've already been to Plinty, Plinty XV. Okay, I need to try and remember that. And we want to go for economy. Is this one over? Oh dear, that's a dissonant system. Is it the green ones that I want? Mercantile, there's one over there. So we've gone to Plinty and we're going to Mistflow. Okay, cool. I want to see whether these two systems appear on the teleporter list in a minute. And maybe I can just jump in between the two of them and keep buying from them and just using the teleporter rather than having to warp. Okay, cool, yep. Yeah. Arrived, okay, did. Let's fly into this station then. Miss Flow and Plinty. Yeah, I think I can remember that. Let's fly into this one. I probably pronounced them completely wrong, but in my head at least it makes sense. And that's all that matters. There we go, got another data injection sequence. Interesting stuff. I wonder if that's giving me the portal glyphs slowly but shortly. I haven't checked. Let's go into the old catalogue. Uh, over here, I guess. Or is it... Uh, it's in here somewhere. Collected knowledges. Where is it? Materials and stuffage. Uh, curios exotic goods, maybe. No, that's not where the glyphs are. I can never find the glyphs anymore, people. You'd think they'd be under there, wouldn't you? But no. No, they're not. Okay. Uh, fun times. 
I have no idea where the glyphs are anymore. I don't know. Budget doesn't matter right now, does it? I'll find them later. Good you. We're in. Oh, wow. This one is epic in colour. Isn't it? Well, like this. Is this a Viking system by chance? No, it's Gek and it's purple. And the station core is like the slightly exposed one. Oh, this is beautiful. Very nice. Okay. Well, let's run around here then. Let's go and buy all their wares, shall we? Boom. And buy, please. I'm going to buy all of that. Oh, I'll have all of it, please. Boom. All of that. All of that. All of that. I'm getting slightly richer. Okay, cool. Now we've got all that. Let's use a teleporter. And let's see if we can go to the previous system that I was in. Which was Plinty, wasn't it? Um, which was this one. Plinty. So we go there. Zoom. Let's see if we can rebuy it all. <laughs> Okie dokie. Right. We've arrived right in front of the Galactic Trade Terminal, which is freaking great if this works. And yes, all the stock is back in. Am I getting as good a discount as I got last time? There's not a lot there, though. Look, I'm only getting two of each thing there. There you go. I bought 22 that time of that one. But now I should be able to just use this teleporter and jump back to the station where I was earlier, which is this one. This is where the trade is booming right now. Boom. And then I can sell everything there. Okay, I wonder if it crashes the economy though, me selling all this like in drips and drabs like this. I wonder if it's better to go to a load of mercantile systems in that three hours and just before it's about to end, then go and sell everything all at once. That's probably the best way to do it. Well there we go, let's let's just let's just sell everything that's in green again. And it should tell me how much how I'm doing profit wise now, shouldn't it? Which is under log. Yeah, it's doing okay. That's, oh, is it really worth it? I don't know. I mean, I could probably just dig up ancient bones and sell shed loads of ancient bones and make this money far quicker. Um, and you can do that fairly early game. So I don't know whether this is worth doing. Uh, I'll go to one more mercantile system. Let's see how we get on anyway. I mean, I couldn't buy a lot. Using the teleporter method, I couldn't buy a lot. So, so that's unavailable. Hold on, I need to go to economy. And then look for a mercantile system. Can I jump all the way over there? Oh, the trouble is, is a lot of these green stars, data are unavailable. There you go, there's a mercantile over there. We'll go there. Yeah, I don't know whether this is worth doing. Okay, right, well, we've arrived there then. Let's just spin this around. Fly in the old station. Yeah, we're going to get another data injection. I'd imagine we are. Or not then. Okay, cool. That's a cool station. Oh, yeah, we have. That's a cool station. It's my uh, logo colours. What's it like inside? Is it red, white, and black? No, it's very blue. Pretty cool there. These spacious stations do look far better than the old space stations. Um, I, I, I still like flying into these. I'm not bored of them yet. I don't know how long that's going to last, but for now, I'm still quite excited to see the insides of these places. They are pretty darn freaking epic. It's strange that we haven't got use of the station override yet. That's that's really taken its time to come into iteration. Okay, right. So let's uh, let's buy all this then. By 40, 47, by 70. You know what? I'm going to go to a few mercantile systems and just buy everything, people. I'll be about right back with you after I've been to about five or six. Well, people, I haven't been to another station. I come across this. It's a freighter interaction. It's a battle going on. Okay, right. We're going to go take out the engines. Basically, if I can rescue that fleet, if I can take all these engines out and do what I need to do, I might be able to recruit a couple more pirate vessels. Heck yes, take that, engines. Right, if I fly around this way, 
Wow, Nelly! Okay, cool. Let's get him. Take that, cannon! Take that, cannons! Chikaboom! Chikapah! Okay, right, zoom around here. Any other cannons? I think there are around this hole here. There's a cannon. Didn't look like a cannon, did it? But it was. That was a cannon. Zoom it around here. Any other cannons? I swear I just saw a laser come from behind me. But I'm probably too close to it to see it properly. Let's get this one over this end. Chikapow! Any other cannons down this way? Die, gun turret! Any other cannons? Did I miss? Yeah, I've, I've missed one. I always miss one that end. Oh, it's low down. Hiya! Take that cannon. Boom. Okay, right. That's it. Done him. Freaking done him, mate. It's not letting me buy any of these. Oh, yes, it is. Let's uh, let's just go and buy one of these quickly. Can I afford it? I can. I, I can't afford it right now. So what I'm going to have to do? This is a bit naughty. I'm going to difficulty. Swap it to creative mode. And then buy it. Okay, I'll have to fly to another one now. There we go. Hello! Yes, I want to buy that. Heck yes, I'll have that. Boom. Got another one. Increase our crew, people. Lovely. Sweet, we buy all of them. Yes, please. Call. Yes, please. Purchase a Kate. Nice. So we've got all those. Hold on. There's, there's two more somewhere. Might as well get the full fleet. Heck yes. Take advantage of this. I guess. Just bought all these pirates. Nice. Now we got them. Now this guy surrendered to me. I've already got a lovely piratey freighter. So I don't need another piratey freighter. So we might as well go on board and get the reward. I guess. Something I've noticed, people, is my trade timer. Uh, when I go over to the log. Keeps resetting itself. It went back up to 2 hours 59 a minute ago. I think it just went up to... I think it just went up by a minute then. Just going into that screen. Right, okay, let's jump out. Sweet! Yes. We're getting rankage with the freaking Gek as well doing this. This is awesome. And up here. And let's go grab some profits from this guy. We're making lots of units in today's episode, people. Uh, get it out. Yes, our demand tribute, please. Heck yes! Look at all those units! I've just got loads of units! Okay, right. Let's go Let's go put this back into normal mode then. Sweet! Caroline! Bam, bam, bam! I guess. And we're off. You see, even though that I'm, I'm testing to see whether this is a good method to earn units, I mean, technically, I can just jump into creative mode, make myself a load of fusion igniters, and sell them. And make a freaking packet if I wanted to. So all this sort of stuff, why, you know, going in and looking at the economy and buying stuff, as good as it is, because Hello Games have put in the ability to change your game mode on the fly, it kind of feels like, why? I still feel that the game mode changing perk should be that, a game mode changing perk, and you should only get it once you've completed the Atlas Path. I haven't completed the Atlas Path on my PC save, I think it should be an end game perk. Sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think. In fact, I'll probably put a community poll up on this because I feel rather strongly about it, to be honest. I mean, if I had no ability to change it on the fly, I would have had to earn those frigates that I just employed rather than just swap the game mode. But, uh, you know, I have got like over a thousand hours on my PlayStation save. 
But you know, there might be new people watching this on PC or whatever other platform because oh, I didn't know you could do that, and they're probably doing it right now after watching my videos and taking full advantage. But you know, it's up to them. Play how you want to play. Right, I'm going to buy all these then. Lovely. And all them. Sweet. We're not getting the super discount, really. I'm making, like, 10% on those, though, which isn't too bad. I'm just going to go see the Guild Envoy over here quickly. See if um, we've got anything we can donate or anything that we can take advantage of. Which I haven't been doing in all these stations so far, admittedly. Okay. Uh, donate. Um, no, I've got nothing I can donate. I've got nothing that I can redeem, either. Alright, fine. I haven't really upped my standing with the mercantiles by the looks of things then. Might have to do some mercantile missions. Who knows? But yeah, we're now down to 2 hours 52 minutes. But that did jump up earlier. That was really weird. Now it's gone back to how it should be. Alright, fine. Let's go. Let's fly on out. Might as well do another couple of mercantile systems. I'll let you know if anything interesting happens, people inside the viewerverse. Okay, right, well, we've uh, arrived at again in another system. And let's uh, fly on into the old station. You know what, I'm just going to do this one, and then we'll go back to the actual booming system and see if we get about 6 million in units. Because I just got 6 million in units for rescuing one pirate freighter, which seems to be far more lucrative than doing this. And to be honest, this is a little bit boring. To be fair, just jumping systems, especially with the load times of how long it takes to load in. Wow, this looks very Xbox green, doesn't it? That's freaking mental in here. Yeah, well, let's jump on out of here. It's like the Borg cube or something out of the Matrix, isn't it? Sweet. Let's head on over here then. Let's just go buy a load of stuff. And you know what? I'll just use the teleporter to get back to the system where it's booming right now. And I'll show you a far quicker method to make units if, if you don't mind swapping the game mode on the fly, that is. So let's head on over here then. Boom. And uh, we'll buy all this. Lovely. Thank you. Lovely. Jubbly. Sweet. Okay, we've run out of units anyway right now. So cool. Let's uh, let's just jump on over to where I need to be. And go to Spestations. And it's this one here. I remembered the name. Yeah, I know. Let's go. We're on our way. Okay, right, well, I'm right in front of the Galactic Trade Terminal. And uh, let, let's let's start selling this then. Right, so I'm on 3 million right now. Let's see how much money we make. Oh, look at that. I'm actually going to get... It's actually broken the system, I think, people. Because we're not getting a massive profit on that anymore. The demand has gone down. So maybe it is the best to go around and buy everything from all the mercantile systems you can find. Look, it's gone back up to 2 hours 59 minutes down at the bottom there. What the flying fudge? And that's going to change again in a bit. I, I tell you, as soon as I jump system, I bet you that changes to like 2 hours 50 or something. It's broken. Okay, well, how much money have I actually made on this right now? I've only made 3,900,000. That's, that's hardly anything. I could sell, like, what, three or four ancient bones and get that sort of money. That's just silly. I saved one freaking pirate freighter and got six million. No, it, 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 it's, it's, it's not lucrative doing that, really. Even early game. I'll show you how to make a shed load of units if you really want to. Okay, right, here we go. So let's fly out here. Uh, let's call in the old space station. There we go. Boom. Fly into here. Oh, not space station. Space anomaly! Fly on over. Just want to make sure I've got all the blueprints, and if I have got them all, I'm going to show you guys where you get them. Let's fly in here. Lovely jobs. Yeah, look, the time has gone back up to 2 hours 58 minutes now, people. How bizarre. How bizarre indeed. I mean, even sending out frigate missions right now. I'm sending out frigate missions, and I'm being given things like, like trinket boxes every now and again. Like suspicious packets and... I've been getting, like, these yellow boxes full of treasures. Like these. Look, that's going to get me one million. Just that alone. And I've had a few of those. If I sold all of those, I'd, I'd probably make just as much profit as I've made doing all that warping. Uh, uh, it, it's not very lucrative, is what I'm saying, people. Not very lucrative at all. 
Right now, anyway, let's head on up here. I could fly up for that middle area, you're quite right, but I'm just going to take the ramps. Run, Captain Steve, run! I guess. Round here, up here. And we're heading over near to the Exocraft vendor, Perseus, the guy with the teethy pegs, and Eos, the shark guy. It's the console in between the two of them, right here. Cool! You can see there, I haven't actually got the blueprint for that as yet. So... You know, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop this into creative mode for a second. So dig creative mode. There we are. Interact with this console. And then whatever you buy in here, you're going to get it for free. Nice. And it's over here that you want to unlock everything. So just go through here. Unlock everything in here. Lovely. Yeah, you're going to have to put up with that little XO voice for a while. Well, yeah, just buy everything you can. These are the things that are worth a lot over here. The fusion igniters are worth a shed ton, and so are the stasis devices. So make sure you do this far right tree over this side. You might as well get everything else unlocked here. I mean, it, it's, it's not essential, but some of these things do come quite in handy. Especially if you want to make gold or silver for any reasons, like to put rooms in your freighters and stuff. But then again, whenever I'm building a freighter base now, I just put it in creative mode. I use this creative mode little jump to a lot, to be honest. And I'm quite thankful that it is there. But like I was saying earlier, I do think it should be behind the end game of the game. Once you realise that you're part of a simulation, then fine, get rewarded with this. Even if it was at the end of the Atlas path, I mean the Artem... Artemis questline that we've just done because we go back to our ship. We know it's a simulation Maybe the Atlas depending on how you do gives it to you then You know as a reward for your endeavors There you go. You can now change the simulation on the fly Okay, well we've unlocked all of that Right now that you've unlocked all of that just go inside of your actual um, exosuit find a blank space scroll down until you see the stasis devices or the fusion igniters. You can see there, they're both pretty much similar in how much they're worth, but they're worth 15 million a pro. So just build a, just make a shed ton of them and just keep going if you like, you know, all the way up. La 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 la. Okay, I'll make a hundred of them. There we go. I've got a hundred of them. Freaking mental. Why did it give me all this other stuff as well? I did not make these. <laughs> what the... What the flying fudge? Okay, um, I don't know why it gave me all that at the same time. That was random. Okay. <laughs> random! And I'm just going to jump back to a station now. Here we go. Bam, bam, bam. Space station. Any space station. I'm going to go to the one that's still got that massive great big boom going on on it. Which is this one here. Just in case they still want to give me a profit on selling this stuff. That'd be freaking excellent, wouldn't it? A little bit of extra cashola, if you don't mind. Right. Now I'm just going to put it back into normal mode. Not that you have to, but I'm going to. Go on over here. Hit up sell. And you can see that I've got 13 million at the moment. Right. Well, I'll sell all that anyway. Sell the 100 stasis devices. I'm going to get a billion for that. Okay. Might as well sell all these spark canisters as well. And these things are a bit of a loss, but who cares? I'll sell the gravity noble just to make some space. I'm going to sell all that too. I don't know what the el oh, electric cube. Yeah, that's fine. I'll keep that. That's for my base or whatever. Mind arc. We've still got one of them. Um, okay, we'll sell all this as well. Nanotube crate. I'll sell that. I'll sell that. Well, there we go. I've now got one billion units. That says fapping about, doesn't it? There you go. I've got enough units to buy whatever I freaking like now, people inside the view of us, which is freaking easy peasy, lemony squeezy. Units have never really been a problem. Okay, cool. Righto. Eh? Sweet. You know, next episode, what I might show you guys how to do is to up your standing with the guilds and stuff and get your ranking up. 
really quickly without having to run a shed load of missions because yeah that's quite easy to do too people so if you like the sounds of that hit that notification bell and uh yeah we'll reconvene for that one heck yes brilliant eh? and we might do some missions anyway in between doing the atlas path we'll see how bored we get doing the atlas path people inside the view of us but yeah hopefully that's enough to whet your appetite and i'll see you again soon for the next episode people in the view of us lovely cherry bye for now go on well, there we go, people. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying this PC playthrough and trying to see whether the update has increased early life game. I would say the trade surge is a bit weird with the timer that keeps resetting itself. And it's really tedious jumping from system to system. You're going to use a lot of warp fuel doing it. And not only that, the load screens are painful. The only good thing about this is at least I have a Sentinel ship encounter and I got myself some more little mini pirate ships to my frigate fleet, which is lovely. I want to send out more frigate missions. I want to have more frigate interactions as we're doing the Atlas Path. Hopefully we get a few of those happen live and we get to see that in order. But I've already done my review of the actual orbital update. Now, I said for somebody like myself, legacy players, there wasn't much there. I know there's ship customization. That's probably a little bit unfair. The new stations bring in quite a lot of gravitas, but a lot of this is more cosmetic rather than gameplay or, or or deepening out or adding depth anywhere. I mean, the ship mechanics are great, adding, um, creating your new starship, but it'd be nice if there was a place that you could go to have your ship appraised and they look at it and they offer you something for it. It'd be nice if we could get blueprints for our ships and maybe exchange those with our other friends with inside of our teams, our fire teams, and see if they want to build the same ship. And if they do, perhaps they pay the actual owner of the blueprint some quicksilver or something. That'd be quite nice. There's, a, there's ways and means that they could add a little bit more depth to what we're seeing currently, is what I'm saying, people inside the view of us. But yeah, sound off in the comments. Let us know what you think they could add to strengthen this update. I feel that this is a good stepping stone, but I feel that it was a little bit shallow for legacy players, a little bit fuzzy dice, but at the same time, I still gave it an 8.1 out of 10. It's still a substantial, awesome update, and it's added a the shed load of gravitas to the stations now I, i'm still excited every time i fly towards the station wondering what i'm going to see inside and out yeah i quite like them i quite like this update it's a good update but anyway i did a full review if you want to see that review i'll put a link over there go watch that one but until next time people salute to mondo hopefully this has helped you out with trade surges if you have got any tips things that i've missed let us know sound off in the comments on how you utilize the trade surges but for me it's just easier to slip into creative mode Make a load of stasis devices. Boom, bang, you're freaking rich. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.